Sailors. <laughs> well, guys, she's in. She's in. Coils are about 12 inches of travel on the shaft, so and they got 200 pounds of nitrogen. Oh, baby. Yeah. Everything's on tires. Kevin's been absolutely killing this build. She is sure pretty. Brand new R1s, it's a hunting buggy. My uh, design I made a few years ago. We got Conrad up there, making dreams come true. Doing things that shouldn't be done because <laughs> why not? Radiator's in though. Had to take the fan out. Yeah, didn't have enough room. Uh, partially my fault, but motor and trans are in. Haven't made a video in about a month, so I decided to start filming right now, why not? As y'all can see, the transmission is fully in. Got to put the torque converter, torque converter bolts in still, which isn't a big deal. Motor is fully in. And we're ready for a jack shaft, which is awesome. Yeah, that is a 47RH, if you were wondering. Fully hydraulically driven. No computers needed. This old girl's also coming along. We swapped setups on it. It wasn't the funnest time, but we did it. Uh, the correct cab just got dropped off, so she's me getting her cab and her shocks. So we're killing it. <clears throat> and then I'll show you what I just did. And some gorgeous aluminum overlays. Oh yeah, baby. So yeah, everything's on tires out here. It's it's nice to see everything's on tires hood stacks on her I'll have to climb up there and show you guys some things but uh yeah we're getting there soon enough we'll be firing this thing up but uh yeah about to put the intercooler in factory ford intercooler and then we're gonna make our own charge pipes um i think we're gonna hard pipe it right yeah we're gonna hard pipe it because why not? I didn't think we were gonna be able to do a hood stack uh, just because of where the turbo was, manifold problems, but it's there and that will actually get chopped very short. And then a, I'm gonna do like an eight inch stack out the hood, uh, hood sitting up on that truck right there. But that's where the sway bars go. If you guys wondered what those tabs were for, and we, we got them up front too. So, and they mount right there on top. Um, but yeah, we're getting somewhere guys. Can't wait to hear this old girl run, but, uh, yeah, we'll check back in. It's another Tuesday night. Come on. No going back. <laughs> nice painted hood. All right, guys, another Tuesday back. So we cut the hole, gotta make it just a little bigger because when the hood opens and closes, it it actually hits right there, so. But I'm gonna show you guys my new purchase. Oh yeah, eight inch angle cut. You think that's real chrome? Yes. <laughs> so this was a marketplace find that my buddy actually knew who owned it. And he told me it came off an old Kenworth truck uh conrad here seems to believe it's probably worth north of six hundred dollars <laughs> and uh he's mad at me but we're gonna cut it up so <laughs> it's a badass stack it, it honestly looks like it's never been used or maybe cleaned but yeah we're gonna probably cut it about somewhere right here and make a flange that'll bolt on the hood so hell yeah check back in oh guys last video of the night 
hood stack is knocked out. I'm actually up on a ladder right now to get you guys a little visual. Hell yeah. Stack's in there, man. Gotta get a grill. Gotta get our AC condenser and trans cooler back in it, but we're getting there, man. And we're back. Show you guys a little bit of what we've been doing tonight. Um, I knew I needed a night to button up the frame. So we have made support for our hitch uh, slash pull point and also to box the frame in. So we put this bar here and we put that one across there. Uh, just cause this sway bar is gonna see a lot of brute force and we just wanted to tie in the rear. Um, front, we don't have any, but we do have the trans cross member welded in right there and the motor cross member. So it's like two and two and in my head it works. Uh, Taylor's up on the ladder. Uh, oh my God. All right. I spent all Saturday here wiring the motor and it looks like a rat's nest, but it's really just really long runs of wire. So I can get ready to start this thing on the ground. I'm going to set a battery down here and we need a starter right there. But other than that, she's going to be ready to go and put a little tank of diesel up on the tire and hopefully get her to fire, man. I can't wait to film that. Uh, exciting. Exciting. We got to go check in with his truck soon because you guys are going to be blown away on the progress on that. But, uh, that's what we're doing, guys. Stay tuned.